Barbie fans clutch their pearls because Oscar ignored the girls. And Hillary returns from the shelf to make it all about herself. The Oscars snubbed Barbie star Margot Robbie in the Best Actress category and Greta Gerwig for Best Director when nominations came out this week. But don't worry, to ease all those hurt feelings, they already cried into a bag of money. <laughs> However, Ryan Gosling, who plays Ken, was nominated for Best Supporting Actor. But even he wasn't happy, saying, quote, there is no Ken without Barbie. To say that I'm disappointed that they are not nominated would be an understatement. Mm. Which is the kind of comment you'd expect from a man with no genitalia. <laughs> Saw that one. Yeah, we didn't even have to blur it. <laughs> but critics are slamming him, calling his words blatant virtue signaling. Speaking of women who don't win, Hillary Clinton <laughs> took time off from luring children into her gingerbread house. <laughs> To chime in, quote, Greta and Margot, while it can sting to win the box office but not take home the gold, your millions of fans love you. You're both so much more than Ken. Hashtag Hillary Barbie. Oh. Wow. You know, if I were Ryan Gosling, I'd let the world know I have no plans to kill myself. <laughs> it's because she's, she stages suicides. But really, do the Oscars even matter anymore? They're not even the big event they once were, especially with Jimmy Kimmel hosting again. A reminder to Jimmy, the event is black tie, not black face. Good point. But, <laughs> but here's the problem with the Oscars. None of the subject matter resonates. It's like Hollywood misses the real stories that affect real people. In a perfect world, these, these would be the Oscar-nominated flicks, like Teacher Transformer. <laughs> Yes, a heart-wrenching film about a Canadian woodshop teacher who changes his students' lives one massive boob at a time. <laughs> or Captain Underpants. <laughs> a superhero movie for today, a pot-bellied, rough-around-the-edges Italian biker who video bombs TV spots of an eccentric political pundit and wins the hearts of Americans everywhere. <laughs> and my favorite, Daddy Divorce. Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Did the uh, I don't know. department make that? Like, yeah, was, yeah they they actually did that, and it, is, it, it will be. The good news is, it'll be starring you, Jamie, in the title yeah. role, and you'll be playing yourself. Do you know what's funny? When I looked at that graphic, I was like, I don't remember the last time I looked that sad, and then I remembered it was just now. <laughs> yeah. The last segment. Have you been thinking about uh, this story and how much it's affected your life? The fact that. Uh, Barbie, the actress, whatever her name was, yeah. Robbie, wasn't nominated. Has it affected you? It, well, I know a lot about this. My ex-wife actually won best non-supportive role in a marriage. Um, <laughs> I don't like this story. I don't like rich, successful people complaining about things that mm -hmm. don't matter. And I also think Ryan won because he was best supporting actor, which is... It's just an easier category. Mm -hmm. it's, an, it's, it's like going into that category makes it easier to win, in my, uh, in my understanding. And um, I don't know. I, I don't watch these award shows. I always felt like if I ever really did win something, they, you know, I just don't know what I'd say. Because they always go like, oh, I want to thank that my wife. is. And I was just like, what would I be like? I did it even though you tried to stop me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> in spite of you. Yeah, the no thanks. You'd be doing no thanks. Yeah. No I did, thanks to my kids who won't return my calls. Yes. No thanks to my divorce attorney who let me get cleaned out. Yeah. I'd be like, thanks to, does anybody want me to say their name? <laughs> anybody, thanks to Tyrus. Cat, <laughs> <laughs> how sexist is it that Margot Robbie wasn't nominated and instead they nominated another woman in her place? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty sexist. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna do something that I rarely do on the show, which is defend a man. Oh. Um, I think Ryan Gosling, okay, what was he supposed to do? He yeah. had to, he, first of all, he doesn't get to be excited now because it worked out this way. Yeah. And he had to release a statement like that because mm -hmm. what, what else would he do? He'd be like, hell yeah! <laughs> like, <laughs> suck it, bitches! Like, you can't. <laughs> he had, so, I 
like, I, I really don't like people criticizing him for doing this because it was probably already written for him before he even saw that it happened. He really yeah. had absolutely no choice. And Hillary Clinton, she has never taken off as a feminist icon the way that she keeps trying to yes. be. Because, like, you can't be this independent woman feminist icon. Like, you're married to Bill Clinton. It just yeah. doesn't work. And you trashed all the women he slept uh, yes, with. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, in my, yeah, Team Lewinsky for sure. Exactly. Yeah. Team all the women he slept with. That's a big team, Tyrus. And they're all real women. There's no men in that team. And if there is, that's okay. It is okay. <laughs> Bill would do it. He'd be like, okay, I hey, turn hey, around. He can play so the saxophone. The he can do anything, right? Yeah. Listen, I, I've, uh, Jamie, first of all, thank you for your service. Yes. For <laughs> bringing so much joy to so many assholes' lives. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Robert Downey Jr., maybe he should go on X tonight and complain, mm. or maybe somebody from Jurassic Park. Barbie is a, is a national icon. Mm -hmm. Making the Barbie movie, it did phenomenal. It did great. Little girls loved it. Little boys loved it. My kids loved it. Mm -hmm. And when you are a part of something that is already in itself, mm -hmm. a, a, its own enterprise, playing a character in that movie does not necessarily mean mm -hmm. that you're going to get nominated. You should be excited that one of your cast members was nominated, given they're doing a doll movie. That's like everybody who watched Star Wars and be like, why, why didn't Luke get... Because the, the Academy doesn't put much weight on action movies and, and money-making movies that are designed to get people to do what? Buy more Barbies. That was yeah. the point of the movie, and they accomplished it. Jurassic Park, everybody's kid wants to buy a dinosaur. So, I mean, they accomplished that, but then we live in this time now where the, the, this, this, if you don't nominate me, everything's bad. And it's just like a spoiled child. They're acting like spoiled brats. You didn't get nominated, but you are up for eight others. Mm -hmm. So be happy for the guys that, that were nominated for something, because there's a lot of movies that weren't about dolls mm -hmm. that, are, that, are actually, that were movies that are about different things, and they got nominated and you didn't. So instead you're like, oh, this is great. And Hillary, she just wants one person, and I nominate Shalou, to say, Hillary, we like you. Yeah. It's just, we like you. Thank you. You're good. Yeah. You so, may go home now. Rest. Exactly. <laughs> she always has to make it about herself. Climb in the coffin and just call it a day. Tom, a related topic. How is your remake of Birth of a Nation coming? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not that old-fashioned, Greg. <laughs> I am old-fashioned, though. I, I come from a day, Greg, when you made the movie and then you made the doll. You make the doll second. You don't start with the doll and then make the movie. Great right? point. Uh, Hillary Clinton, she went even further than that quote. She compared uh, the Barbie uh, getting the most money but getting snubbed at the Oscars yeah. to her getting the popular vote but not right. winning the presidency. And if anything, the analogy should be flipped around. Because winning the popular vote is like getting the participation trophy, and winning the presidency is like getting all the money. Mm -hmm. So you were right. That's the prize. They already got their money, and it's probably not a very good movie. I get nauseous when I look at stills from the movie because it's so pink. It looks like a, a Pepto-Bismol commercial to me. <laughs> it well, is something well, about it's pink. it's not for you. But, yeah. okay. I yeah. loved it. Yeah. Yeah. But I know everyone had to pretend they liked it, though. I did. And then you have all these people, you know, the stupid ones were the right wing guys who went to see it and then gave it a bad review. And it's like, how about you just stay home? Yeah. <laughs> you no, know, that's, you know what? That is a great point because, listen, I didn't care for it. My kids loved it. Mm -hmm. I went to it twice. Uh. Fell asleep both times because, Mike, no, Mike, you going to tell me not to take yeah. my daughter yeah. to a movie? <laughs> Bring your ass up here. I'll go, we'll go to the Barbie movie together and I'll make you sit on my lap. <laughs> I didn't care for the movie. My kids loved it. Yeah. When it came out on iTunes, Daddy, can I have it? Of course you can, because my kids <laughs> liked it. Yeah. It won. It got uh, nominated for eight awards. How victimology can these people be? Yeah. I don't know. I love the movie. I even uh, dressed up for it. Wow. <laughs> anyway, all right, up next, he played some tunes and got threatened by commie goons. <laughs> 